Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hello, welcome back. Today we are going to start chapter number 5 that is about torsion and this problem is taken from mechanics of material by R.C. Hibbler. So it's first problem 5-1. The statement is that the solid shaft of radius R is subjected to a torque T. Determine the radius R dash of inner core of the shaft that resists one half of the applied torque T by 2. Solve the problem two way. First by using torsion formula and B part by finding the resultant of shear stress distribution. So first we will solve it by using the torsion formula. Okay, so as we know that torsion formula or shear stress when uh, torque is applied to shaft is given by this formula Ta is equal to T into C divided by J, where Ta is shear stress, T is torque, C is distance from center to any point where you find this shear stress and J is the polar moment of inertia. So again if, you, if we are interested to find out the uh, shear stress at the radius R, outer radius, so it will be the maximum shear stress. So maximum shear stress tau max will be equal to T and here the radius is outer radius is R divided by J and J for this will be equal to pi by 2 into R power 4. So from here we will get this maximum sharing stress and this maximum sharing stress will be equal to 2T over pi r q. So this is maximum sharing stress. Now in our question it is given that uh, determine the radius r of the inner core of the shaft that resists one half of the applied torque. So we are going to find out the torque at the inner core which is at a distance of r dash. Clear? So I will write it now Sharing stress at R dash will be where R dash is the inner radius of the core of the shaft. So if R is equal to R dash, if C is equal to R dash and it is also given that at the inner core the torque will be T by 2. Clear? So you can put it in this formula. So tau will be equal to here t will be replaced by t by 2 because it is given in the question c, c will be replaced by r dash and j will be replaced by pi by 2 r dash power 4 and from here we will get this tau is equal to t over pi r dash q I will write it over here. This tau is equal to T over pi r dash q. This is the shear stress at the inner core of the radius at which is r dash. So let we have this equation as 1 which is a maximum sharing stress and this equation is 2 which is at the radius of r dash where it can resist half of the torque clear and as we know that from our knowledge of torsion that this torque T over R dash is equal to T max tau max over R you know it very well because if you take the take these torques equal and you can get such type of equation also i have explained it in the uh, problems of mechanics of material by bear and johnson you can watch them and you can learn how this comes clear now we have this formula tau over r dash is equal to tau max over r from here we will get 
this tau will be equal to tau max into r dash over r so this is our basic formula and this let this equation will be equation number 3 ok now we will move further what you have to do you have to put equation 1 and equation 2 in equation number 3 so this will is equal to 2 I will write it over here this star is equal to t over pi r dash cube is equal to tau max is this 2t over pi r cube 2t over pi r cube multiply by r dash over r now we will further simplify it so you can see this t will be cancelled this t will be cancelled with this clear this pi will cancel with this clear and this will be equal this r dash will be 1 over r dash power 4 is equal to 2 over r 4 so from here we are interested to find of r dash so r dash power 4 is equal to r 4 over 2 now you have to take the under root uh, fourth under root of both of these so if i take the under the root fourth so i will get this as r dash and this will be equal to r over 2 power 1 over 4 so from here i will get this r dash is equal to when you calculate it this r dash will become equal to 0 0.841 times r so we have find out the inner radius in term of the outer radius this is our answer now we will go and solve this problem by using the second method that was using the shear stress distribution shear stress distribution and we will get the same answer from this method as well okay so let you have this shaft clear having this center and the outer radius is r clear so from this shaft we take any circle which is at a distance of let this distance is rho and the thickness of this shaft or the thickness is let me take a small area da this area is da and the thickness of this portion this thickness is d rho clear so this da area or differential area will be equal to 2 pi rho into its thickness which is d rho so this is our main equation and that we will use further okay as we know that tau is equal to t uh, rho over c into t max this is general equation that we have written over here i will show you this is the equation name clear so if i replace this row with r dash because we are interested to find out the r dash so this row will be equal to r dash so r dash clear uh, sorry uh, this row will be the same because it is varying and where you are interested if you are interested to find out the shear stress at r dash so row will be replaced at uh, replaced by r dash and c is the c will be uh, is maximum radius and maximum radius is r and tau max is also equal to 2t over pi r q 2t over pi r q 
see here so you will get this if you solve it further or simplify it will be equal to 2t over pi r4 into rho now you can see that this is the differential area and the share sharing stress will be like this one clear this is sharing stress okay and if you are going to find out uh, uh, the torque due due to this sharing stress the sharing stress will act over this area so uh, over small differential area so d torque or differential torque small torque that is applied over this area will be equal to this shear force into dA clear and this sharing force will be equal to rho into dA not dA this is rho into dA I will clear it to you you can see this is the sharing force and sharing area can be as, uh, acting on this sharing area clear in order to convert this force into sharing area uh, in order to convert this sharing stress into sharing force you have to multiply this sharing force with this area and rho is the perpendicular distance for the tau so dt is equal to rho tau into da now you have the value of uh, tau so dt is equal to rho tau is equal to this value 2t over pi r4 into rho and da is this one which is equal to multiply by 2 pi rho into d rho this is the small differential torque so if you want to find the torque or entire uh, area or shock uh, up till 0 to r dash because you are interested to find out the uh, inner radius r dash I will integrate so definitely at r dash it is given that torque is equal to t by 2 and we will integrate it from 0 to r dash yeah so again I will write the same 0 t by 2 dt is equal to now you can see you can bring out the constant 2 t pi 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 will cancel here this will become equal to 40 i will write it 0 to r dash 40 over 40 and rho rho and rho 40 into rho cube d rho over r4 if you further simplify it if you integrate it it will be equal to t and the limit will be 0 to t by 2 is equal to this will become if you take the constant out of this integration so 40 over r4 is constant clear and we will have only 0 to r dash rho cube into d rho so if you further simplify it it will be equal to t by 2 and this will be equal to 4t over r4 and this will be equal to r dash 4 over 4 and limit will be from 0 to 0 to sorry this will be rho 4 not r4 this will be rho 4 and limit will be from 0 to r dash again if you further simplify it this t by 2 is equal to 4t over r4 and this will be equal to r dash 4 over 4 now this 4 4 will cancel t t will cancel clear and we need r4 r dash clear so r dash power 4 is equal to r4 over 2 now you will take the square root and exponent will be 4 clear and this will give you r dash and this will be equal to r dash uh, sorry r over 2 power 
1 by 4 which again will give you the same value that r dash is equal to 0 0.8184 1 times r so this is the answer you can see by using both methods method by using the torsion formula and by using the shear stress distribution you can get both the same value i hope you have learned from this video and thank you for watching